it's not all about allergies. It's not all about the one thing that we think is the problem. Like it's, oh, that's the thing. In trying to find the answers to chronic dis-ease to return back to physical health, there is an innocence where, for example, I was speaking with a client the other day. He was like, it's the food, it's the food. And we discovered he's in a house full of mold. So when we look at the, the bucket as a metaphor, it's looking at what are the root cause resolutions? Because the brain will go, it's the one thing. And at times it is the one thing, but it can be a, a numerous element of factors such as if we're not getting enough sun, we're being exposed to computers and technology all day. It's like no sun, technology all day, no movement or exercise, limited hydration. All of this overflows the bucket. And when it's overflowing, we start to get symptoms. I like one of the um, phrases I've heard that the body whispers. And if we don't listen, it starts to scream. And when it's screaming, that is the overflowing of the bucket with a myriad of symptoms. Like niggly little, oh, I've just got pain around the body. That's not normal. Oh, it's old age. Is it? Oh, I've just got brain fog and I'm tired. That's not normal. Oh, I'm feeling like colder and a myriad of things that people just learn to go, oh, that's life. That's normal. It's not. Your body is uh, under low level inflammation or stress. The bucket is overflowing. What I've seen so commonly with clients as I, as I riff on it is that they get so used to living with an overflowing bucket. They don't know life without an overflowing bucket where there's plenty of space and they're just well. It's like um, one of my favorite metaphors as I may have shared before is a flea when it's put in a jar. You may remember that, that a flea will be put into a jar and they put a lid on that jar. And then after a period of time, they take the lid off. The flea stays in there. It stays in the jar because it learns to live within the confines of a new ceiling. And what I see is that people learn to live under an invisible ceiling of an overflowing bucket of chronic dis-ease or broken brains.